Hello, my name is Jonathan Watson and I am Product Marketing Manager for Skype for iPhone and Skype for iPad. Uh, we've just launched a brand new version and we gave a few users uh, early access to the app. Um, they've sent some questions in um, on video message, so let's see what they've got to say. Hi Skype, this is Laurie Cunningham with the Well Connect Mom based here in Los Angeles. I've been loving the new features with the video messaging at Skype, I think it's a great idea. I know as a mom when I travel it's um, hard to connect with my kids sometimes um, by Skype because of different bedtimes and schedules. So this is a great way to let them know I'm thinking about them um, and they can see me and where I am at the time without having to uh, worry about missing them for the day. So I think it's great. Question for you. the um, It's great ability to uh, send your video messages uh, within the Skype community. My question is, do you foresee being able to send video messages outside of the Skype community via email? So, which would be a great opportunity to send messages to people who aren't already on Skype, as well as an opportunity for Skype to perhaps get more uh, users on board and really extending the Skype network. Hey Laurie, um, great question and um, I'm glad you, you, you love video messages. I I'm the same. Um, I have family in Australia um, and sometimes it's tough to sync up time zones so I love it when I get a video message suddenly from my niece when I arrive in the office this morning. But back to your question and you know we thought long and hard about video messaging and, and what the recipient should be able to do with um, with a video message um, and we figured that actually video messaging is about it's a personal um, a personal message from one person to the other so that's why it's really locked into the Skype account so that it remains there you can't download it and um, it's just something between you and the recipient, the person you sent it to. Um, however, you know that said, I think it's a really interesting idea. So um, it would be a different feature or a different way of using the video messages, but I'll certainly pass it on to that team, and uh, we'll see what comes out. But thanks very much for your question. Hi, my name is Justin, and I'm a tech blogger from California. I've been using the new Skype for a few days, and I'm really loving it. Uh, the video quality is fantastic. And it's been great for work use uh, on the road. So um, great job there. Um, a few suggestions. Um, I wish there was the ability to set it so um, when I log on, it only shows me my, my online contacts rather than showing me all contacts and making me select online contacts each time. Um, another nice request would be to um, be able to use the back-facing camera during video messages rather than only being able to use the front-facing cameras. Uh, sometimes you want to be able to capture the best moments and share them uh, in a video message through Skype. That's great. Thanks very much for your message, Justin. Um, so a couple of things, two great requests. Um, the first one is we published a blog um, on the Skype blog in June, um, just a few weeks ago, which talked about some of the changes that are coming for uh, coming to Skype on, on mobile phones. Um, and one of the key things we're trying to do is improve um, um, the simplicity of using Skype on, on mobile phone and giving people, um, making it easier to use, making it super simple and giving people faster access to their most important conversations and most important people. Um, so that's coming soon um, and as a Skype previewer you'll, you'll be getting access first so that's something to look out for in the coming months. The second question about uh, video messaging I think is a great point. Uh, using the back camera makes uh, loads, of se loads of sense um, so I will suggest it to the team and see what they've got to say. Hi, my name is Michelle McGraw and I'm with scrapsofmygeeklife.com and I live in the Washington DC area. Um, I've been testing out the newest version of Skype for iPad and iPhone and I have to say that I really love that I can get HD quality in a portable device because I usually have my portable stuff with me all the time and I want to Skype with someone so I, I really like being able to see them clearly and feel it makes me feel much more like I'm, like I'm right there with them. So um, I'm I'm really impressed. It seems to be really stable. Um, it's you know I'm, I haven't ha I didn't have any dropped calls or or video chats or anything. So I'm really excited about everybody getting the opportunity to use it. Thanks. Uh, hey Michelle, thanks very much for your video message. Um, really really glad that you're enjoying using the latest version of the app. 
um, you know, improvements in quality is something that we're always, with every release, we always try uh, and make an, uh, an improvement. And uh, we're glad that you that you're seeing those improvements, uh, especially with HD video too. Um, so we enable um, HD whenever we can, whenever you have enough bandwidth on your network or your Wi-Fi. Um, so you'll look great um, when you're on uh, calls with your friends and family. So I'll pass the, the the good news on to the team. But thanks again for your video message, um, and we're glad you, you you like the latest version. Thanks everyone for your video messages. I've really enjoyed answering them, and I hope you found my answers useful. Uh, but that's it for now.